I will be using this rotisserie chicken that I picked up from Costco as well as some bell peppers and onions that are cut up. I will also be using some spaghetti noodles. I have this Velveeta cheese here and this is a 32 ounce box and I will only be using half of that. I also grabbed two packages of sharp cheddar cheese and I will be using this at the end once everything is done before this goes into the oven. I will also be using two cans of this cream of chicken soup and you can use cream of mushroom or cream of celery. It's kind of, you know, what you prefer. I also will be using two cans of Brotel and I have the original. You can use the Mal or the Hot if you like. Um, for seasonings, I will be using garlic powder. I have onion powder. We also have some black pepper and some Creole seasoning. And you can use whatever seasoning that you like. Um, but this is what I'm using. I also have a little bit of adobo seasoning that I will be using as well as some parsley flakes. So to get started, add a little bit of olive oil to your skillet or your pan or whatever you're using and saute your um, vegetables. And while your vegetables is sauteing, cut your cheese up into small cubes and sit that to the side. Once I was satisfied with my vegetables, I didn't want them to get too mushy. I went ahead and added my two cans of Rotel as well as my two cans of cream of chicken soup and I just allowed that to heat up into my pan. So now that everything is hot, I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese and I'm going to allow my cheese to melt. And while I'm waiting on my cheese to melt, I will be cooking my noodles as well. So I just wanted to take this time and say welcome to all my new subscribers, to my returning subscribers. Thank you guys for your support. Thanks for everyone who has been checking up on me. It's been so much going on that I haven't been able to tend to my channel, but I'm back you guys and I'm better. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys. So now that my cheese is melted, I'm going to stir everything up and then at this point we are going to add our noodles. We're going to mix the noodles in there and just get everything nice and combined. So now I'm going to add my chicken and I did shred this chicken up to make it a little bit smaller and this is just the rotisserie chicken that I picked up at Costco.
So here is where I add all of my seasonings. And I ended up adding a little bit of milk because it was kind of hard for me to stir it once everything got incorporated. So I just added a little bit of milk to thin it out. So now I'm just going to transfer everything to an aluminum pan. I'm going to top this with some cheddar cheese. I'm going to wrap it in foil and I'm going to bake this on 350 for 30 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. <music> 